Well, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. morning. And like he said, I was an engineer before and uh, in the oil business, self-employed. And I got out of that, sold out. Good timing. And I uh, thought I was going to be retired forever, but I was way, way too young. And I found a business I could buy and then hopefully sell it in five years. You're still in here. Because <laughs> I started that business when I started this. So it's uh, been a long time. A great time. Anyway, I want to go over some things that I do a lot for people, especially businesses. I'm going to end it with um, an example up here that uh, Victor has been quite successful. As you all know, Victor is a millennial. Hey. Hey. Is that good or bad? For him, it's, for him it's very good because he's quite successful, but he's found that uh, direct mail works for him, understanding that, that uh, emails are now junk mail. Uh, why not go the direct mail route? And if you notice in your in your mailbox, there's not as much crap no. in there as before. So people are reading it, which yeah. is kind of good. That's interesting. Yep, made a comeback. Everything comes back. So I'm going to go through some things we do for everybody a lot. Uh, business cards, number one. Um, honestly, I pass out a lot fewer cards than I did before because I'm sharing my contact more more actively now. Actually, a lot. You know, if I'm with somebody, I have a relationship with someone. I don't need to just hand them a card, just get their phone number and share my contact, and I usually get one back. So that's coming out a lot, but there's so many times, like like in line eating breakfast this morning, there's so many times where business cards are critical, you need it. Just remember, don't stand at the door at that mixer and start passing them out to everybody coming in. Wait to talk to somebody, <laughs> helps a lot. Okay, so business cards, we do all different types. Um, Guy and I were talking about some unusual, maybe metal cards out there that we could do and uh, there's so many different types and aspects of cards that are that are kind of nice because they stand out and your card you don't just want a white plain card in the typical sorry no I'm in the typical uh, attorney layout <laughs> it's kind of old school but there are so many different ways of doing it if you're only going to pass out a few make it vibrant make it something exciting make it something that they'll remember and keep and won't throw away by and all those people at the, at the door handing out their business cards, the trash can is filled with them two feet away. Mm -hmm. So keep in mind your business cards, and you do need them. No matter who you are out there, you do need them. Uh, we do a lot of signs, uh, and the sign thing, so often I get uh, artwork that comes to me that is uh, internet based, which is 72 dpi, which is really low resolution because it's got to move fast through the internet. And the, <clears throat> the image you want, a vector-based image you want, is going to be a lot larger than that to maintain that quality of the image from that little one that they have to that large sign that you want. We build a sign as, as, at least it's a little bit bigger than that middle picture on the wall. And if we'd had a pixelated sign, all you could see is one, three or four dip, big pixels of it. You have no idea what it is. So you need something that actually would, would expand up to that sign, up to that size. So keeping that in mind when your sign is being built, but also think, how are you going to use it? Am I going to be a long-term, is it going to be a chloroplast sign where you just stick it in the yard and it's only one-time use to let people know you're there? Is it going to be a long-time sign you're hanging on the wall? Is it part of your business plan to have this as your, your major branding sign for the business on a, on a brick and mortar? Or do you need something just temporary? Or is it outside? Or is it inside? Or does it need to be laminated? We did one right now recently for a uh, guy that has a bunch of food trucks and we're going back and forth with him. He didn't want to spend a lot of money on it, but he wanted a sign that he could change the price on, on his tacos and everything else regularly. So we just whited that area out so we could write in there. But the problem with that is you can get laminate you could write on, but it doesn't wash off very easily. If you spend all that time washing it off, you end up washing everything off. Now there's, there's a dry erase laminate I found that uh, works well, but it's extremely expensive. So that was a nice alternative. You could still write on it. But what I ended up doing for him, this just cost him a few bucks, is a little, little sort of Velcro on each white spot. And just slap the price on here and rip it off. So that works out really well for him. He's happy with that. Plus it stands out a little bit and people see it better. So you need to look at what the sign is for and what environment it's going to be in, whether it's inside or outside, and how long you need to have it. Like Mark's signs, he uses those um, every year, right? I use them every year, but I show them to other people, and I go back five years and show examples, 
they're really good communicators. So I, I Mark signs are, are big, but he has to carry them everywhere. So they're laminate, large, and you can roll them up. Because the way I made them, you can roll them all up and still keep them in good shape. Uh, brochure, did a lot of brochures. Flyers, uh, we've done flyers for Mike, we've done flyers for a number of people. One thing about flyers I'll do for you, you email me the flyer, you forgot about it. You email me that flyer, then drive down, I'll have it done for you by the time you get there. I promise that. Unless you want 10,000 of them. You have to wait a half hour. We'll see, Jim. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Test me on that. <laughs> but if you need a flyer quickly, just email me the flyer and I'll have it in really good style, really good paper, really good quality for you pretty quickly. Uh, newsletters, we've done a lot of newsletters. Uh, Terry does one pretty much every month. We mails these out and we impose the addresses right on the newsletter so it makes it simple for you. Uh, and the postage is also right there so it's not going to put a stamp on it. So we can put those out pretty fast too. And he has a couple thousand at a time. Uh, trifolds, I've done a number of those for people. Um, business cards, trifolds, business cards, brochures. Uh, remember your business card is, is a quick look at who you are and how to get in contact with you. You don't want your whole life history on the back of it. You don't want all the brochures on the back of it. Uh, just make, keep it simple, very simple. And use a brochure, an actual brochure, to keep available for people or to someone that you're actually established in that relationship with, you can hand that brochure out or that trifold out. And it makes a lot more sense. It cuts down on the paper costs for yourself, cuts down on the volume of stuff you have, but more important, it's a, it's a stronger relation when you instead of just passing out that business card, giving them something about you and your business. Background is good, but also whatever, everything you do. Uh, product catalogs. Uh, we just got, <clears throat> we still got one a couple weeks ago for a guy that uh, is a defense contractor uh, vendor, supplies uh, bearings and, and whatever for the missiles. And his product catalog is pretty specific. It's not really big, it's only 20 pages. Yeah, five sheets, 20 pages. But it's pretty important to him because he's passing this out to all the defense contractors on a regular basis. So he does one about every four months that we're counting on and uh, his first one run was for 500. So this is gonna be a pretty good brochure business for us with his product catalog. Um, branding signs, I mentioned that in the beginning that uh, if you're a contractor out on a job, no matter what you, your contracting type is, you want to make sure people driving by, unless you're trying to get away from the inspectors of the city. <laughs> <laughs> that case, don't Nobody use, does don't use a sign. Nobody, Nobody does that. Nobody would do that. <laughs> but if you are out doing the job, if you're painting the house, if you're laying flooring the house, have a sign out front, let people know you're there. Mm -hmm. It's a pretty simple thing. A little coroplast sign doesn't cost you very much. One with the little stakes in the ground. Or step it up and get a better one that will last you longer, because those coroplast ones won't last you more than a couple months at the most. It doesn't cost much more for a better one that will last you longer. Uh, I mentioned the um, signs, product catalogs. Okay, I want to show you something now that Victor is like. This is what the thing on the screen is here. This is <coughs> it's called Every Door Direct Mail. If you're uh, looking for, I'll use Victor as an example. He, he does the last couple of mailings, he does 15,000 at a time. And when you look at this mailing, you go, I want to specify one particular group of homes because I, in his case, I know their age, I know the situation with uh, what they need as far as upgrading their air conditioning or putting a new air conditioner, whatever. He can specify that. But what happens is he can pick that, that zip code. And with a zip code alone, he can say, I want a, a flyer to go to every residence in that zip code or every residence in that carrier route. Because mm -hmm. what you're doing is you're handing post office at the front door, you're handing them a stack of cards or a stack of newsletters or whatever it might be, just enough to mail to that carrier route, maybe five or six hundred to carry it. He just puts them in every box. It's not any specific address on it, but it's really cheap. It's only 18.7 cents per mailing postage for that and get it in everybody's home. So I'm going to show you an example here. Would you put your card? Yeah. Okay, Victor, why don't you give me a zip code? Let's try 92683. Hey, guys. Okay. Westminster 92683. Yeah. Right? Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to pick area in this, this one zip code here. 
for him to mail to. So I want to get the south side of the 405 freeway. South side of the 405 freeway. You see how they all pop up in colors? Yeah. yeah. That each color as it pops up as I hover over it is a carrier route. Oh, cool. Can you do a median income of 100000 Okay, mm -hmm. let's stop at... Um, Are you placing the order right now? Yes. <laughs> see, right, right up here we want to um, go to residence only in this case. Uh -huh. Okay, so it's going to be south of the 405, is that right? Yeah, south of the 405, if there's any okay, let's go. I'll start south. here, you'll see a, a, up in the top bar, you'll see a average income of 105. Perfect. Is that good? Yes. So I'll click on it. You see up there where it says 373 residents? Yeah. Yes. That's what we're going to be doing for the first one. So this allows you to figure out how many mailers you're going to make. So you pick them in advance, and then you only print as many as you need. Right, right next door to it is uh, yeah. 88,000. Yeah. Uh, that's middle class. We'll take it. We'll take it. Yeah. He's got financing available. Yep. <laughs> Here's a little bit higher. One, one ten. Want that? Hey, that's, that's my street. That's good. <laughs> you, need, you need a little red pointer thing. Okay. Yeah. You following what I'm doing here? I'm that. picking zip codes based on, on areas he wants. Yep. If, if you see on the right, I'm accumulating the ones that are still in red, or excuse me, in, in blue, I'm accumulating those for his mailing. So right now we have a total of 1,573 for mailing cost of 294. So let me quickly click well, through this. That includes cost of the flyer too, right? Yeah. 100%. <laughs> yeah. No. For you, John. For no. me. BTI ought to do a mailing with everybody's. Okay, see, I'm uh, accumulating carry rounds here, all south of the freeway. I'm doing this for a certain purpose here. So, so far, south of the freeway in that zip code, we're at 3,600 mailings. You see that? Yeah. I'll pick a couple more to show you what the result is here. So, I've got one north of the freeway here. Four thousand, forty-five hundred. That's right. You're up. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to click on one more here. You'll notice all of a sudden there's a size limitation too. I get over five thousand mailings. That means that that one zip code in one day I can only give five thousand units. Well, I can go the next day. I can pick another five thousand, whatever, or move to another uh, carrier, or excuse me, another zip code. And do it at another car at another zip code. In that particular zip code, that particular post office, I can only hand them 5,000 units or less. So I, I would back off of one of those. Anyway, so what the next step is just to process the paperwork here, and they're already sending them, the post office, a notice that we're going to send this to them. We sort his mail, sort his, print his cards, we sort his mail to the, to the carrier route, Take it in, and that's it. Mm -hmm. Pretty simple. Eighteen point seven cents. Plus. Size of card. What What are you typically doing? For you, you can't do a little postcard. Right. But you can do like an eight and a half by five. Yeah. Excuse me, eleven by five. A little bit bigger than a postcard. Okay. You can do. I've done. Um, How heavy? Um. You can actually do a folded one too. It'll work. Weight's good. Do you have to? Uh, put a little sticker yes. thing. Yeah. yeah, I do a newsletter for a guy that in this fashion, yeah. in EDDM. So it's a folded piece. It was a 100, 100 pound text. It's good. good so point. you're doing 100, so yours are 100 he's, pound glossy or? No, his are, his are uh, 14 point cards. Yeah. So they're heavier. Yeah. And they're eight and a half by five by six. When I get them from Jim, they're already pre-boxed and ready to go for the zip code. So sometimes I'll target, like I have employees at work or live in Corona or wherever they are, and I'll target their neighborhood so they can work by their house. Exactly. So they don't have to come all the way down here. So he'll have it set up to where I have it individually by city and whatever, and I can go drop them off in the mail office, just drop it off really quick. It's, it's pretty it's pretty efficient um, way to go about it. So that all that blue area there will, will basically be 5,000 pieces. I can go to that one post office, and the next day people have it in their hands. It's that quick. It's really, it's really, they really like the service. It's good service for the post office. It's good for us, for, and, they, and they're quick. And for me, I target, like I know that there's gonna be a heat wave in two days. I'll drop it off two days before that, mm -hmm. so yeah. it's gonna hit when the heat wave's there. Mm -hmm. So it's all about timing on most yeah. of this stuff, so. 
But the important thing is you're picking your location based upon what you need and really not caring about those people you send it yeah. to. You really care more about where the area is. See, Thomas? Yeah, um, Victor, how, how uh, what successful has this been for you? What percentage of, uh, of the 5,000 delivered I get a response? My return on investment's over 300%. Wow. So, I mean, I, I usually spend about like three to five grand per, and I'm getting over $100,000 in revenue from it. Easy. Uh -huh. And he's mailed uh, 30, probably. You know, I was thinking 40, for John, 000, 50, uh, John, would this be something for you? Yeah, it's, I like the way it's John so Thomas. specific throughout. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Me too. That's yeah, pretty cool. Right. And, and like, I, like I said, you guys send me your logo, what you guys want on it, and I'll make it free of charge for you. I have someone in my office that does that all day for me. So they'll make it for you, and I will charge you guys, and we'll see if you get any return on it. Just talk to me Do first about the size, and then you can put this out. You pay Jim, too? Every real time. Pardon? Mary does this. And they'll do this, they'll do this in any zip code. Any zip code. Yeah. Well, the yeah. easiest. I'm sorry. Question for you. How often do you think doing a campaign like this would make sense? Can you go to businesses? Let me finish this question. Yeah. Uh, so you have a, a mailing to these particular ones. It really depends on the business you have. Guerrilla marketing is always important where you, you can keep going after the same people with the same flyer, eventually they'll, they'll get it. <laughs> but you have to consider why you're doing it in that particular neighborhood. Absolutely. And his type of thing, maybe he doesn't want to hit them like that. Yeah. The John, was the question frequency? Yeah, question okay. was frequency and depending on the type of niche you're looking yeah. at, right? Uh -huh. so, yeah. Okay. Thanks, Joe. What was the other question? Can it go to just, just businesses? Yeah. So I can pick on businesses here, too. And then maybe all the people in the group ought to do one part of approved businesses for Orange County. She was saying for us. Like yeah. Well, I've done, them, I've done them for Irvine. <laughs> I just pick businesses because it's dense areas there. But take that our brochure, there. take our... Uh, She's talking about BGI. Yeah. Sounds take like a committee. Names in BGI and send it out as your neighborhood approved businesses. Maybe the board, the board can uh, talk about it at their next <laughs> board, board meeting. Yeah. It would be less than a couple hundred each. Yeah. Well, it, it, it's not a bad idea from the perspective of these neighborhood net, you know, the internet stuff, you know, with Angie's List and all that other kind of stuff. It's, we could create our own. Mm -hmm. That's right. Not a bad idea. No. I, I BGI's List. That's we'll right. Make money. We're not a nonprofit anymore. <laughs> 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 right. We didn't get Yeah. The heck with it. Yes, sir. <laughs> Just, Mike, do you do this kind of stuff? It's very saturated from a realtor perspective, yeah. um, so it doesn't have any kind of uh, impact. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I mean, you have to spend a crap ton of money. What I would recommend. Is just and he has to be careful too, because uh, you know everybody's got a farm, yeah. and he's stepping on someone else's toes. He's got to consider that. I'm sure yeah, that's good. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. I know. What I would recommend is just so we get a lot of. It's Mike, you hear what he's saying? I'll have that conversation with you later. That's going on. I was going to see if you can get lots of chocolates. Any other questions? Yeah. Real quick on the flyer itself. Um, so, like Victor's is uh, what's the size of your card? Victor? Eight and a half by eleven. Eight. Oh, so half of it. Six half and a half. Page six and a half by eight. eight. Full page. Oh, you can do eight and a half by eleven. He does six and a half by eight right now. Six and a half by eight. Okay, so that's one size down. <laughs> yeah. And then it's two sided. Do you have information on the address side as well? So you yeah. have anything you want anywhere. Yeah. There's no address. Well, I mean, it, you can get kind of busy, you know, when you. You start. don't want that. So yeah. there's like on the front of mine, I do advertising. So I'll offer a special for a tune-up or whatever is on the front. Mm -hmm. And on the back, I just have a story about me and my business. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So I've yeah. seen some great power team communication happening here after your, your <laughs> yeah. speaking engagement. Everyone sit down. Oh, and yeah, we'll totally. Together. Absolutely. I'll bring a bunch of Victor's cards next week. I think it's a good idea. And then you can see what he puts on his. Yeah. I think there's a lot of people here that could probably do that collectively as well. So. Absolutely. Okay. We've, we've done it for centers where uh, the whole center will get together and have one card for all 10 businesses. Oh, we've done yeah. that many times. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea, too. And they, then they mail it just around the center. Yeah. Thank you, everybody. Appreciate right. it.